This video is brought to you by WP Forms. Hey there and welcome to WP Beginner. In this video, I'll walk you through how to install a simple contact form for your WordPress website. And we'll do it step by step so you can get up and running quickly. We'll also do it without writing any code. So if you're ready, let's dive in. We need to log into our website. So make sure you log in. You can usually find how to log in by adding WP-admin at the end of your website address. And then you can just log in from here. Great. Once we've logged in, we need to add a plugin. So we want to head over to our plugins area and we'll click add new. And up in the search bar, we're looking for WP forms and WP forms. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install. Now, make sure you also stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Once it's activated, you'll see this dashboard where it says, welcome to WP forms. And you can go down here to create your first form. You can also come over here to the left whenever you need to create a new contact form. So we'll go from here, WP forms, and we'll click add new. We can name our form and then you can select a template from here. You can also start from a blank form and that means that there's absolutely no fields there. You can also do a simple contact form here as well as a newsletter sign up, So you can integrate with your email newsletter provider. And then if you upgrade to the pro, there are several other things that you can do, such as a donation form or a bill order form. And that gets more into e-commerce. You can also do a request a quote form there. But we're going to do a simple contact form. And then this loads up. Now, this is the template that you can use. And you see that all of the main fields that you might need for a simple contact form are already here. And you can click on any of these to make any changes. For instance, I prefer to do a simple format where it's just one line for a name. And you see the little asterisk here means that it's required. So you can make all of these fields required or not by clicking here. And you can even change the, what it says in the label here by clicking on that and then coming over here and changing it. Finally, you can also change the submit button a little bit by clicking on it and it'll come to this area where we can change the button text. And then once they submit it, this will say that as well. And then down here, you want to make sure that you do enable the anti spam honeypot and that's simply a way to reduce spam coming to your site. So that looks pretty good. You can go back to the fields and see how everything looks great. And we can go back to all fields. And if you have another field that you want to add, you can just click on it here and then it'll drop down here. And then you can left click and drag this wherever you want. So I'm going to remove that because I think that the simple contact form is just perfect for what I'm looking for. Great. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and click save. And now the next thing we want to do is we need to set up the notifications. So that means where does the email go and what is in the email. And then we'll also want to set up the confirmation. So when someone clicks on the get in touch and they submit the form, what do they see to let them know that the contact form has been submitted? So let's go to settings to deal with that. From settings, we can go to notification and notifications are on by default. And then this is all the default information that gets sent in the email once the form is submitted. So by default, it gets sent to the admin email. And that means the admin email of the site. You can remove that and you can actually add your email in here. And this can be any email, whatever email you prefer to set up. It can be a, a Gmail or a Yahoo or anything like that. If you want to send it to multiple emails, you can do that as well. So just do a comma and then add the other email as well. And then you see over here, we have show smart tags. You can also use, these are the smart tags. These are the fields that are on the form that you can use as well. And that comes into handy under say the email subject line. So by default, new entry colon contact us will come into all of the email subject lines. And that's just the label or the name of the form. You can change this up a little bit if you want to make it more individual. So when you're getting the contact, maybe it's not all the same. And here would be a good area to show, say the name of the person submitting the form. And then that would all be individual. And then the from name, that's also the same field. So you can either leave that there or change it. And then the reply to will be their email. And then scrolling all the way down, all fields will come into the body of the email. So you'll get all of them. So now the notifications are set up. We'll just click save. And now we want to set up the confirmations. 
And I don't know about you, but when I go and submit a contact form on a website and I don't get any response or anything that says, hey, we got it, that usually makes me a little nervous. So this is what when they submit the form, what they'll see. Thanks for contacting us. We'll be with you shortly. You can even change this to handle their expectations. So if you know it takes you 24 hours to respond, maybe you can say that. And then what's also great is you can either do a message where it just pops up once they submit it. You can also show a specific page in a This is a specific page on your website. Maybe you have a thank you page or something like that. You can show that here, or you can also even completely redirect them to a completely different URL if you want to there. For this one, we're going to stick with the standard message that we're showing and the automatic scroll to confirmation message. That just means if it's a really long page, it will make sure that it scrolls so that they do see this area. Great, now that the confirmation is done, the notification is done, the contact form page is finished, now we can add it to our site. So we're going to go ahead and click out of this. Before I do real quick, just know that this is the light version, which is super powerful in itself. But once you get ready to do a few other things, maybe with your business, if you need to accept payments or do some email marketing, you can integrate WP Forms Pro and Hire, where you can add payments to your form box. You can also do things like completely automate the back end of your website if your business deals a lot with say quote forms and things like that. You can do that. If you want to upgrade to WP Forms Pro or higher, just head over to WPForms.com forward slash WP Beginner, and that will give you the best deal on WP Forms. But for now, we're going to close this out. Now that we have a contact form, we need to put it on our page or a post. I'm going to use a page, so I'm going to click on all pages. And I already have a contact page. You can create your own. So I'm going to edit this. And this is my contact information. And I want to put the WP forms over here so I can click on the little add block and you see it here. But if you don't see WP forms in the list, you can also do a search. So we'll do WP forms. We can click on that. And now that that comes in, we need to do from the drop down and select the contact us form. And that looks great. So now we can update this. Or if you created a brand new page then you want to click publish and now we can see it in action. That looks really good. And then you see that the button actually takes on the style of the theme that I have, which is to put all of my buttons in this color. So it looks really, really good. And now the other thing you can do is if you want to have a contact us in say a sidebar area or maybe your footer area, you can also add WP forms to a widget area. So we're going to go to appearance widgets. And from here, I want to add a form to my main sidebar area. So to do that, I'm going to scroll down. I'll find WP forms and I'm going to left click, drag it all the way up to the top of the main sidebar. You can give it a title here or you can just display the name, select the form and save. And now you see when you go to a blog post, you can see the contact us in the sidebar area, just like that. And now that you have WP forms installed, make sure you watch this next video where I cover 17 power hacks to grow your website using WP forms. And thanks for watching.